Hey guys, so I wanted to do this, um, I guess a better recap of the baseball cards that I found at that one garage sale. I've gotten a lot of feedback from that one video uh, based on probably the title saying best uh, sports card collection ever. Um, for me, as far as buying, um, I've gone out there to garage sales many, many times and usually you see nothing but junk cards. You go through these books and it's players that nobody recognizes. You go through sheets and sheets and sheets of players that nobody knows, nobody recognizes, and every now and then you might see a player that's popular. So that's usually what you find out at the garage sales, unless you get lucky and you get someone that's just selling their dad's old stuff or their son's old stuff, and they don't know what they have. Um, those are far and few in between. That being said, um, I went through this lot very quickly and I uh, named a few players here and there that I saw but I wanted to give you guys a chance to look through it a little bit closer so I'm gonna go through these cards a little bit slower kinda give you a better idea of what's in them and then you guys can decide you know if it is a bunch of junk cards if it is an okay set um, for me it's the best set that I've seen out there hence the title of the video so let's take a look and see what is in this set so looking at this set here, here's just a couple of little stacks that I made. I've got a lot more over there that I'm going to go through. and But we're going to go here and just kind of flip through some of these cards, give you an idea of what's out here. Now these are just a handful, a very, very small amount of handful of Alex Rodriguez. Um, great ball player, for sure, future Hall of Famer. Get a closer look so you can see better. No, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to these prices. These prices don't mean anything to me. Uh, anybody could have put that. They could have swapped that in and out. So I'm not looking at that. But to say these cards have no value, okay, they're not going to retire me, obviously, right? But you could sell these, you know, for stacks of 10 and get 10 bucks easily. And there's a lot of cards to go through. And you can do that with a lot of these players that I have. People who are an Alex Rodriguez fan would probably give me 10, 15 bucks for that one stack that's got about 20 cards. And that's just this one little stack. Here's another short stack of another great ball player, Cal Ripken Jr. Again, this guy was a hard player. Hall of Famer. Never came off the field. This guy was a baller. This is what people back in the day when I was playing baseball you looked up to this guy because this guy played and played and played he never quit never came off the field and again guys I'm not paying any attention to these prices that are on here same cards so I still see some value even though they're not like I said not gonna retire anybody obviously what is this? Willie Mays? Oh, these are just some other. These are just some reprints. From the 80s. Yep, yeah, 89 Bowman. Still. Manny Ramirez. These are all the same card. Sports Illustrated. Nothing special, but. Not trash, I would say. And I've got a bunch of him, uh, Ryan Sandberg. Some Sammy Sosa. Uh, I think he probably lost a lot of value with all the uh, uh, 
uh, PEDs, steroid use, and all that scandal. Like I said, maybe nothing that's going to be, uh, you know, nothing's going to break the bank, but still, guys, that might be a rookie card. No, it's not. And yes, I'm not a collector, so, no, I can't look at a card and say, okay, this is a rookie, that's not a rookie, or that's valuable, whatever. in that box all right over here you got a couple Barry Sanders you got a few Troy Aikman John Elway I think these are all the same card yeah those are all the same card Joe Montana. Jerry Rice. Emmett Smith. Kurt Warner, Brett Favre, it's just some random to think. Here's a really, 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 really small sample of some Nolan Ryan cards. And I say really small because this box is full of them. Just some more players around here, guys. Um, Ricky Anderson, I like this one. This is a little, what do you call those? Holograms? Movers? It's kind of neat. Some older cars. Steve Sachs. Champ Summers. These are still out, so they're kind of harder to go through. There's a couple of uh, King Griffey Jr. It's only a couple. There's stacks and stacks in here of those. Um, here's just a sample of the base basketball cards. Kim Olajuwon. There's Kim Olajuwon and David Robinson. Another Olajuwon card. Whatever happened to this guy, Penny Hardaway, Gary Payton, Not even worried about that price right there. Like I said. And that's barely just even hitting this section. Uh, there's some more cards here. Greg Walker. There's some older cards. A Tiger Woods card. I'm sure Tiger Woods has some value to it. All these unopened packs of uh, upper deck golf cards. Sure, there's some kind of value in those too. Wouldn't know how much. 
but to say they're worthless and then get emails from some of the people asking to buy, I think it's kind of funny. Look at this guy. Oh, Pedro Martinez. It's a neat card, you know. I mean, like I said, I know I'm not breaking the bank, but these are these are decent cards, I think. Kurt Gibson, Michigan State. Probably a reprint, 1990, yeah. And like I said, guys, it's not even going through these. Now, some of these might be, like, you know. Like, I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, so a lot of these might be at uh, Chipper Jones. See, Chipper Jones is a popular player. But. Mark McGuire. Eddie Murray. These are all just, you know. So, yeah, I do expect some. Tony Gwynn, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Mussina, Mike Piazza. So, you do expect some, you know, randoms, obviously, right? How can you order garage sale and buy a card or some cards that are all, you know, superstars? here like I said I didn't go through any of these I don't even know what these are I don't know what this is some kind of movie huh Star Trek There's some Star Trek cards in here like I said that's surprising there I Rafael Palmero Dwayne Murphy Juan Gonzalez Damon Stoudemire Excuse me, guys, if I don't know some of these basketball players or baseball players. Robinson. You remember David Robinson, right? Rafael Palmero. And some more over here. So, I'll kind of go through these real quick. Man, I used to have a whole bunch of Jose Canseco cards back in the day. And they used to be worth money. I don't know if they are anymore. Jeff Bagwell. See, and being here from Houston, Jeff Bagwell is going to be really, really popular. And they're going to sell. Jose Canseco. I'm sorry, guys, if I come in and out of zooming. Car Jr. Jason Giambi. Ken Griffey, Jason Tiambi, Juan Gonzalez, Juan Gonzalez. I also had these here. Uh, they're marked error cards. I don't know if they are or not. Let me look inside. You tell me. Probably not. Vladimir Guerrero, Nolan Ryan, Diamond Kings, Nolan Ryan, 500,000, 5,000. Nolan Ryan, 5,000 strikeout cards. More Diamond King. And Jack Morris. I don't know if these are the error cards. I don't know. That's those. There's some more in here. Like I said, they could... Like I said, guys, they could very well not be error cards, but um, I, I'm not sure. Lee Stevens, Kevin Romine, or Romine, 
more McGuire, Mike Keith, Jeff, yeah. uh, Willie Wilson, Kevin Saucier. Cards in here, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'm getting duped on the error cards, huh? But these Diamond Kings, I know they're not completely worthless. You get a couple bucks for a bunch of them, and that's what it's going to take. It's going to take um, time. It's going to take patience going through all this stuff to uh, really get everything sold for what it's worth, or for for what I paid for and make my money back. Here's some more um, golf cards. I'm not sure if these are all Tiger Woods or not. But um, they're all him on the cover. These are 2001. These other ones are 2002. There's a stack of them over here. Uh, King Griffith Jr., Pro Talk. I'm just, you know, kind of going through these cards and seeing what we can pull out. Brett. Yeah, I have no idea why these people put these in these cards like that. I mean, these hard cases. Jim Thome rookie card. I don't know. Is it a rookie card? Cal Ripken. Another Cal Ripken card. No idea why they put them in these hard cases, but they did. Emmett Smith. Another Emmett Smith. Sparky Anderson, coach. Carlos Beltran. Obama looking son of a gun. <laughs> you got this football card. Here's Norris. Mm hmm. Again, being from Houston, that should be a problem selling. Frank Thomas, Marshall Falk. I don't know what this is. Silver Star. Special tribute to David Justice. Authentic ticket. I don't know. Johnny Robinson, old football card. Pat Shea. Or Shea. Old football card. Another Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken. Nolan Ryan. Michael Westbrook. Nolan Ryan. Cal Ripken. Got a Brett Favre. Ah, uh, the same one we had. Santana Moss. Another Cal Ripken Jr. Emmett Smith card. Cards over here too. Frank Sanders, Kendall Gill. I don't know. We went through those. Never mind. Royals collector set. I don't even. I didn't even look at those. Got these large upper deck cards. Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, looks like they're all Michael Jordan, Frank Thomas, Sheffield, Sandberg, Barry Bonds, so I don't know if those are worth any money or not, Chipper Jones, Cal Ripken, Mark McGuire, that's near you went 50 50 50. Another Cal Ripken. 
Greg Maddox, Ken Griffith Jr., Roger Clemens, Pedro Martinez, Chip Jones, Rene Arcogo, Ar Arrocha, Rene Arrocha, I don't know who he is. Don't kill me from the knowing some of these players. Thompson. Some of these cards are kind of hard to get through. The Wing of the Champions. Hmm. There's some more over here. These are not as big. But, um, kind of cool still. I don't know. There's that stack there. No, I'll just pull this guy out. It's an upper deck. Um, it looks like some kind of digital code that you got to scratch off there to get the code and you log in to see what you've won. I don't know, guys. Do you think I should scratch it off and log in? Is it even worth doing it or is this have any value as is? Let me know in the comments. And uh, sorry if the lighting's not as good as it was earlier. It's in a different corner of the room. But here's that second box. Now, these here, these are all. Like if you look, these are like Barry Bonds, right? Michael Barrett, Robert Bell, Josh Beckett. I don't know who that guy is. Jeff Bagwell. Another Jeff Bagwell card. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, and you're going to have a bunch of Barry Bonds in here. Barry Bonds, another Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds, There's an old Jeff Bagwell card. Pat Brewer, I don't know who that is. George Brett. Here we go with another stack of Barry Bonds. These are different cards from the first set that I showed you guys. But as you can see, there's like 90% if not more of these cards are all, you know, what I would consider star players. I don't know, maybe you don't think they're star players, but again, add a garazzo, add a dollar to 50 cents a pop with this many cards. You'd be crazy to think that you're not going to get that. Because I see them do it all the time. I don't ever buy them. Because I'm not a collector and I don't feel like going through them. But there's people that go buy them and that's what they go do. They like getting the whole lot like this. And if they saw that these, if they saw that all this was all-star players, plus what's in that stack over there and this stack, and then this bin full of stuff, and then that box, and then these books, people will spend the money to get these cards and look through them. We've seen one like this already. Wade Boggs is another good player. And before you guys say anything or ask I've tried listing this one time. I've tried listing this one time on Facebook Marketplace. And um, it was right around Christmas. I don't think that was a good decision because a lot of people are shopping for Christmas presents. And most people, I think, aren't looking for um, a stack of baseball cards to buy for. Uh, that being said, uh, business has picked up since um, about a week, two weeks after Christmas 
And um, these cards, I got eighty dollars in all these cards. You're a fool to think that I'm not going to get eighty dollars for all these things. Um, if I doubled my money, I'd be happy. But I think I can triple my money. I think I can get over three hundred, you know, forty bucks for all these cards easily. I bet I could probably get if I got three hundred dollars, I'd be good. And I don't think it'd be hard to do. Come through some of these hard plastic ones over here that are in the G section. And I'm just going to pull out a stack. I don't know how to say his last name. No more Garcia Parra? I think that's right. Everybody knows this young guy. Ken Griffey Jr. He was an okay player. Like I said, I'm not going to expect to get rich off a bunch of King Griffey cards. But I can make some money. See, I'm not a collector, so I'm not looking for the Big Bang card. I'm not looking to find that rare, you know, needle in the haystack. I'm just looking for a chance to make two dollars out of one. Here's some more. And I bet you these are all King Griffey Juniors also. So, people saying that they took out all the good ones. I mean, I guess they missed a bunch. I remember that card from back in the day. I'm going to skip over a little bit, go to the Jays. A bunch of Randy Johnson. Jeter, Bo Jackson, Andrew Jones, Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter. Think a Derek Jeter fan would give a few bucks for a bunch of these cards, don't you think? It's all about getting the right buyer. You know, no matter who you are watching the video, no one thing. You are not the only type of buyer that's out there. Yeah, there are people that are looking for, you know, the Babe Ruth, the Mickey Mantles, the old, you know, cigar box cards or whatever. Randy Johnson. There's people that are looking for rookies and autographs. And there's people that just like certain players and they like collecting their cards. Mark McGuire. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, guys. I can't. It's, it's too much time. But these are all the same. Mark McGuire.
Thurman Munson. Hmm. What are you doing over here, Randy Johnson? Get back in the J's where you belong. Mickey Mantle. I wish that was a real Mickey Mantle card. Wouldn't that be awesome, guys? You'd be all over that one. I just throw back reproduction of Nolan Ryan. Manny Ramirez. Scott Rowland. Manny Ramirez. Not Manny. Cal Ripken. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Rodriguez, Ramirez, Tony Ryan. I think we saw something like this already. And there's so many more that we didn't go through. There's a bunch of Dale Nomo cards in here. Um, who's over here? Mike Piazza's cards. Kirby Puckett, Rafael Palmero, more Mike Piazza, let's see, Andy Pettit, Andy Pettit, Andy Pettit, so there's a bunch of cards there, who do we have here, Kingman, Hillbrew, Can I give you a quick little show? Fulton Fisk. Maybe nobody over there. Fulton Fisk. So many go through here, guys. So many. I think we barely scratched surface. I showed you a good amount. You probably saw about 30% of the cards that were in there. All these cards. I remember getting these. Old Series Trivia. MVP. AL. MVPs. MVPs. World Series. Bunch of little trivia cards. Those are pretty cool. Now, I do know that a bunch of these um, probably not worth a lot of money. These are all reproduction cards, I think. Well, they start getting, yeah, these are like reproduction cards in here. And um, we'll flip through them real quick. I'm sure as a set, they'd bring in a couple bucks. There might be one player here and there that can stand out. These look like older cards, some of them. That Kirby Pocket looks old. Like a real old one. These are all reproductions. Roger Maris. So yeah, here, I'm not expecting much out of these.
you know, some of these might be actual cards that are older. Some of them look like reproductions, some of them look like they're actually older cards. Look at this guy. He looks old as hell. First base. Can you imagine a first baseman looking like that? He looks old. <laughs> This is a lot of cards. Yeah, see, there's some more over here. I don't even go through all these. See, so I'm getting, I'm like, I'm like surprising myself as I go through this, just because I haven't gone through all these. So yeah, Nolan Ryan. That's a reproduction card, probably. Anyway, still a cool card. Cecil Cooper, Carlton Fisk. Pee Wee Reese. <laughs> Hank Aaron. Don Larson. card Slam Derby Carl and Jerry Jones Roger Clemens Mark McGuire Carl Ripken Roberto Alomar Kim Griffith Jr. Some good players back here too. Nolan Ryan. These are cool. I like these. Bunch of good players back here too. Sammy Sosa. Ivan Rodriguez. Guerrero. Gary Sheffield, Jorge Posada, Moises Alou, Frank Thomas, Rick Martinez, Pujols. Got rocked on against us in the American League Championship game. King Griffey. I haven't looked at these cards, so I'm just kind of going through them with you guys because I really haven't seen these. I thought this was just a bunch of, you know, no names, but, you know. McGuire, Alex Rodriguez, Frank Thomas, Gary Sheffield, Mike Piazza. That's that book. Here's another book. Again, a bunch of all stars. Steve Sachs is a good player, remember? Back in the day. These are older cards. 86, 85. And I know you guys are saying nobody wants these 80s cards, but, you know, hey. Yeah, these are like right here. This is where you get. This is where you get to the no names. This is the ones I remember seeing. But then you got a page like this. It's got a few good people on here. Dole Strawberry. <laughs> Tony Gwynn. Those are the players I grew up watching. Ozzy Smith. Cal Ripken. Harry Pocket. Fernando Venezuela. Ricky Henderson, Jose Canseco, rookie, probably not watch shit. <laughs> oh. Curry Puckett again. T. 
Terry Steinbach, Kevin Sitzer, Sitzer, Mike Doon. So, Wade Boggs, Don Manley, Cal Ripken, Ozzy Smith, Dale Strawberry again, Mike Scott. Mike Scott's legend here in Houston. And looks like a bunch of no names here. Here either. Was it could take All Star? Bob Bonilla, Andre Don, Andre Dawson, Frank Viola. Remember Frank Viola? He was a baller back then. Ricky Jordan, Cecil Espy, Mark Grace, Miguel Perez. Bunch of random cards. What are these? I don't know what these are. Panini. I'm not sure if these are worth anything or not. Mike Scott. Decent players back here too. Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan. Cheater. Some more Nolan Ryan cards. Someone will pick up those Nolan Ryan cards, I'll tell you. Right now, anything Astros, Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens. People around here will pick those up quick. You know, these cards are kind of, uh, I don't know, they're, are they hologram cards? Can you see them? Let me start to take one out so you can kind of get a look at it. Uh, I forget what kind, they're like a foil maybe, or what were they called? I don't know, but they got like a little glimmer shine to it, almost 3D looking. And, um... Uh, Carlos Garcia, Boys of Salou, Mike Piazza, a bunch of players, some other older cards, Willie Mays, I think these are reproductions. A bunch of Willie Mays reproductions. Nicky Mantle, who, Yogi Berra. A bunch of reproductions. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of these reproductions are worth a little bit of money. I don't know. They're just kind of thrown in in the middle there. Jackie Robinson. Guys, I got these team album books here also. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of them just because there's a lot of flipping here. But some of these are by players. Like this is, looks like the first page is all Roger Clemens. Um, yeah, it's a few pages of Roger Clemens cards. Nothing fancy. This one's Jeff Bagwell. Looks like they're all Jeff Bagwell. And uh, these are so easy here in Houston for sure. Uh, Ken Griffey. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. too. Ken Griffey Jr. Easy 
cells here too. Uh, I think this will be my last one. Frank Thomas. Yeah, Frank Thomas cards. Uh, Kirby Puckett. So that's what you're getting in these bunch of little players that are like that. Got this box of 2009 playoff prestige uh, football cards. And then this one, from what I can tell, from I remember this was a complete deck. I want to say there might have been like two or three cards that weren't in there. But there's still a bunch of good rookie cards. Let's see. Jeremy Macklin, RJ Johnson, not a rookie, but a good card. Donald Brown, Mark Sanchez draft card. Thank you. Dexter Jackson, got a Dex, got this rookie card with the got this rookie card Dexter Jackson and it's also one of those jersey cards here Brown Maurice Jones Drew Glenn Dorsey another Wells Greg Olson Mark Sanchez rookie Marshawn Moreno rookie I don't know how to say this guy's name TJ Hausman design whatever Michael Crabtree rookie LeSean McCoy rookie Chase Daniel rookie David Thomas rookie Darren McFadden rookie Aaron Curry prestigious picks Monte Davis draft card Donald Brown draft card Chris Johnson, remember this guy? He was a bomb back then. Guys, with all that being said, we still have to go through this bag of cards. These are Sporting News. These are kind of throwback cards, most valuable players from back in the day. I've got this book here. It's got some Shaquille O'Neal. Look when he was young. Couple Michael Jordan cards, nothing special, huh? Just a couple Michael Jordan cards. David Robinson, Scotty Pippen, Reggie Lewis, Dennis Rodman, Patrick Ewing. You know, I met Patrick Ewing in the mall a couple times. Real quiet guy, actually. Magic Johnson, Carl Malone, the mailman, Matumbo, Drexler, Kevin Johnson. Kevin McHale, Houston legend, Robert Ory, another guy who made, this guy won what, six rings? Two with Houston, two with the Lakers, two with the Spurs. Luckiest guy in the world, I think. B.J. Armstrong, rookie. Um, I can't read that name, but it's a hologram card. Got that. Got all these football cards having to be they might not be anything, but, you know, I don't know, I'm going to go through those, Aikman, Irvin, another Aikman card, Bruce Sanders, also got this book, um, not even sure. set of cards here I don't know why they're in here like this but they are all these football cards here also so I haven't gone through them so these this may be like a set so finding the good cards might have to actually and this is what people like doing is going through stuff like this you know this one over here this set this box here is already set up you've got all the cards in alphabetical order they're 
they're in order and you've got you know all mostly star players so I've got all these cards here too but it looks like most of these are probably going to be you know all the generics yeah looks like it I'm just trying to find one good card no luck but you know that's just this little box who knows what's in you know all these other ones yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna have any luck with these probably and who knows what kind of order maybe they put them in teams I don't know it was like that was a lot of jets right there got this box set looks like it's a complete set um, like I said, I hadn't really had time to look through it. So, that box set. I don't even know if I've looked through some of these cards. I mean, I haven't even looked through some of these cards, guys. So, I don't know what kind of cards are in here or why. No. Andre Beans or Bennis, I don't know. Who's here? Dave Justice, isn't there? Dave Justice. Here comes King Griffith Jr. Nolan Ryan. Steve Harvey. So as you can see guys, I'm sorry I'm dropping some of these cards, but I'm running out of space. Ozzy Smith. Bailey Ashley. Gary Sheffield. Mike Piazza. Bo Jackson. See guys, some of these cars are could be pretty good, and that's just barely you know, Johnson. Who's this guy? Oh, Penny Hardaway. Flare cards. I don't know. Little flare cards. I'm not gonna go through those individually. That. These guys here, y'all know anything about those? Are they worth money? I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Put those right here. Who's this guy? I can't see the name. Oh, here we go. Is that Ted Williams? More cards. Got a another Barry Bonds. Willie Stargell, Stargell, Michael Jordan, Bill Pierce, Robert Ory, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing. Uh, some pretty good basketball cards here. Pippen, Charles Barkley, James Worthy, Sean Kemp, Barkley, Kendall Gill, rookie. I don't know. It might have been worth money some some time ago, but I don't think it's worth money anymore. Piazza, Rick Anderson, Gary Sheffield. Uh, there's some more cards back here. Some more baseball cards right here. Stack. This box of baseball cards. Now it's just football. I have to go through. Don't know what's in here. 
Eric Ball, Peter Willis. I don't know. I don't know what kind of order he's got these in, if any. I don't know. Boomer Sison. I have to go through these carefully to see what's in here too. Guys, that's gonna do it for today. I still got more cards to go through that I didn't show you. All these right here, these are all comic cards. Some more baseball cards, another book, uh, a lot of stuff. So like I said, don't judge a book by the cover. I know that's all I showed you was a cover, but uh, I think there's a lot of value here considering the amount of cards that are here. Not a bunch of really, really good cards, but enough of decent cards to make well over well over my $80 that I put into this set. So thanks for watching again, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Once again, it's your boy, Daddy Kane. Peace.